The House Oversight and Judiciary Committees will vote this morning on whether or not to recommend Hunter Biden be held in contempt of Congress. The president's son says he would only testify publicly in front of Congress, which defies that Republican-issued subpoena ordering his testimony be held behind closed doors. Evan Lambert joins us now from Washington with what happens next. Hey, Evan. Hey, Marky, those GOP-led GOP committee votes get started today around 10 Eastern time. Then next up, the full House would take a vote. But even if this passes, it's not clear what the consequences could be for Hunter Biden. Recent history shows us that not every subject of being held in contempt by Congress gets in trouble. Democrats led efforts to hold four Trump advisors in contempt for failing to comply with subpoenas from the January 6th committee. Peter Navarro and Steve Bannon ended up being charged by the Justice Department after the recommendations. Their cases have dragged on, with Navarro facing sentencing this month and Bannon's case on appeal. But prosecutors declined charges for former Chief of Staff Mark Meadows and communications aide Dan Scavino. Under the law, if convicted on a contempt charge from Congress, someone can face up to a year in prison and a fine. Democrats on the Hill yesterday coming to Hunter Biden's defense. And then the question is, why won't the Republicans let the American people hear what Hunter Biden has to say? Uh, this is a joke. It's absurd that they're moving forward with contempt uh, for a witness who is willing to testify. He is willing to cooperate. He is not defying a subpoena. He is willing to come in and give all of the information and answer all of the questions that they have. And Congressman William Timmons from the GOP Oversight Committee, a GOP member of the Oversight Committee in the House, summed it up this way in a recent post on X, saying, quote, this week our committee will move forward to hold Hunter Biden in contempt of Congress. Hunter Biden violated federal law by defying our subpoena and must be held accountable. Now, it is not clear what the Justice Department will do with this recommendation for Hunter Biden if it does pass the House. Marky. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.